According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, by the time a child reaches high school, they are averaging seven hours of electronic media screen time a day. This includes televisions, computers, and phones. These students at Early Childhood Learning Services are having their screen time limited. At Early Childhood, we believe in active learning for children, and so during their day, children are always busy with their hands, with real materials. So whether that means playing in a sandbox, or working with puzzles, or, or manipulatives, toys, that's the kind of learning that they need. We do have computers in our class where children can have some access to media, but we really limit the amount of media. We know that children get enough media exposure in outside of school time, so we try to do limit it, especially for young children. Myrtle October is a parent who has incorporated screen-free zones in their home. Screen-free zones in my home are bedrooms, the children's bedrooms and our guest bedroom. We also, um, we have a den where there's no television and where we eat, there's no television. But because we have like an open floor plan, you can see pretty much in any room. So we asked Myrtle's husband, Ian October, what impact has been felt from those screen-free zones at home? Well, it's definitely lessened the yelling and screaming. One important question to consider now is what age should parents begin to limit their child's screen time? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics says no television before two, and really now they say no, now, no screen time, but screen time is even a misnomer now because we have smartphones and we have tablets. As a parent, why is it paramount to monitor your child's exposure to electronic media, and what do you foresee if they don't? For many reasons. Um, we, we are the parent and we're training them to have self-control. If they're undoing whatever they want and they're playing as long as they want, they're not going to learn to self-control. It's so much fun for them. All the action and the changes and the scene movements. If we don't train them to have self-control now, then it's going to be difficult, I think, for them later in life. I really do believe that.